Hey Vapors, this is your host Mike. All right, remember me talking to you about doing comparisons on the Lost Vape from the Triad DNA 250 to the Theron or Therion 166 and the Lost Vape Scar. Here it is. All right, we're gonna take a look at these. Here's uh, Triad. Here is the Therion. Here is the scar. Okay. All right. Stay tuned. Right after this, we're going to be down low going over the pros and cons, what I found with each one of these devices. And look at the Lost Vape Scar a little bit closer. Um, the unboxing was just an unboxing. We're going to look at this a little closer. Stay tuned, guys. All right, Vapors, welcome back. We are looking at the Triad, Therion, and the Scar, all by Lost Vape, DNA 250, DNA 166, DNA 250 chip, throttled down to a 166, the Scar DNA 75. So what I noticed, well, let's go over the pros across here, and then we'll go over the cons across here. Then we're going to look at the Scar a little closer. How's that sound, guys? All right, the triad. I like how this this is recessed up. Um, it just to me, it's a nice touch. Let's put the SE one UL SE one on here. Show you guys what it looks like. We're gonna use the SE one just across the board. Um, I can grab a twenty five mil tank to show you guys, but that's what it looks like with the UL SE one on there. Here is. The Kalito 120, it's a 25 millimeter. That's what it looks on there. So it, it looks really good, even up to a 25 millimeter base tank. You probably even go up to a 26. Um, there's no overhang. So yeah, that one accommodates all the way up to a 25 millimeter very, very nicely. Let's open this battery door up. These magnets are strong. So there it is. There is the triad, the battery sled, door. Yeah, it looks really nice. I, I, I like it. It's The shape is ergonomically correct. So the pros are three cell battery, the 510. I like how it's lifted off the mod. It makes it it's just a nice touch. It looks nice. And the fit and finish, there is no gapping on the battery door. No gapping elsewhere. I like the screens. I'm pretty sure this is venting. I'm 99% sure this is venting, but they have screen. If you can see that, they have screens. It's it just a nice touch. But yeah, it's fit and finish is really nice. Now, the Therion 166. It actually, the watts is 167. So here's the 510. It's your traditional, really nice Las Vegas 510s. Take a look at that. I mean, they're flawless 510 connections and I believe they're all brass coated um, some websites actually have it wrong they say it's gold plated it's not um, I contacted Las Vape and they're not gold plated so some websites have it wrong some have it right anyways enough rambling on that this is the carbon fiber edition black uh, fit and finish again battery door I mean, the gapping is beautiful. You guys can see. No defects. I rocked this for a day and a half. Um, and I did have it in <laughs> JoJo Ma Shield. You know, you guys know I'm a fan of them. The pros on this is it fits nice in the hand. It's lighter than this mod, the uh, Triad. And for an all-day vape, you, you, you know, you're vaping at 60, 70 watts, and all day vape, this thing lasts all day, and you don't have the extra weight of this. So that, that was a plus for me. I like the aesthetics of it. To me, I think that's a huge pro. I, I like how it's all all laid out, the carbon fiber, the inlay carbon fiber. 
And if I'm not mistaken, this is actually authentic carbon fiber. So you're you're paying for the quality. You're paying for a you know not it's a sticker, but you're not paying for fake stick. So the pros on this, it's lightweight. It's lighter than this, and it lasts all day. It's a uh, dual 18650. You can see here. There is the battery sled. The door. So it is. It, it's it's a really nice mod it's lighter fits in the pocket easier okay so that is the 166 Ethereum. now the scar here's the scar by lost vape so dna 75 now on this i did notice a couple things that I, I don't know i'm not too happy about one okay you, you're spending a hundred dollars 130 dollars whatever the case may be on a mod you expect a little bit more attention to detail, put it that way. But if you look, the USB, the mini USB is one to one side. Okay. Not a huge deal, but it's still a deal. And then, let's see if I can get it to focus in on this. Come on. Okay, you see right there? That was a paint chip that they touched up. Okay, it, it, you can see it better in person. So with them, that too being said, and then the wood is two different colors on this. Not a big deal, it gives it character, but nonetheless, I gotta point it out to you guys. Here is the battery tray on this one. Now this one does come, as you can see my unboxing in the other video, it does come with 18650 battery adapter, which is really slick, it's not, a cock ring like some of these mods do it's an actual device that gets put in here opens up the door it, it's it's beautiful there's no rattle no none of that and they actually utilize this battery tag as well for that sled for the 18650 so they really thought this through my thing on this i i i vaped on this for a day <clears throat> and Let's go to the pros and we'll do the cons. I'm starting to get sidetracked here. The pros on this, it's about the same as the Therion. There's not much of a difference that I, I really, it stood out to me. The size, obviously it's a little bit small, but it's thicker. The fire button is a little bit wider, but it's shorter. Other than that, these two are pretty close comparisons. Um, like I said, a little bit smaller, but thicker. And it, it can utilize an 18650 or a 26650 battery. Now, let's do the cons. All right, the cons. Start back over on here. The cons. Oh, let's uh, let's throw a 25 mil tank on each one of these. Sorry guys, dropping the ball again. So this is the uh, Cleto 120 25 mil base tank. So that's what the Theron, Lost Vape Theron looks like with a 25 mil tank, millimeter tank. Not too bad. I mean, it's the black on black is really nice. What do you guys think? I mean, that's really good. No overhang. There is a little bit of gap right here. Um, some of you guys, that might bother, um, but there is no overhang here. Okay, let's put this on the scar. Scar is going to handle a little bit better just because, like I said, it's thicker because of the 26650 battery configuration. But there it is. I mean, you got plenty. I'm sure you guys could get a 30 mil on here, or damn close to a 30 mil. This is a 25 millimeter tank, so a 30 millimeter tank should easily fit. So that's what that looks like. Not too shabby. And see, another another thing is I ordered black with wood inlay. To me, this looks like a gray. So, I don't know. I ordered this through Element Vape. They were the cheapest price. I think uh, they're $80 right now. I didn't get that price. I got, I had to pay more. Nonetheless, it, it's a whole nother saga there. <clears throat> the cons on the Triad. It is bulkier, it is heavier. To me, it don't look as nice as the Therion. It's not as nice as the Scar for aesthetics quality yes the quality is there but aesthetics 
like this what I would really like to see this all blacked out if they had that option that would have made it look really nice like a gloss black or something I, I don't know it's just they could have went a little bit further they might even have another option that I'm not aware of comment below if there is um, it'd be nice to know the cons on the Therion I can't find any guys honestly I, I, the Therion I love it I can't find anything wrong with the cons I, I, I have two of them so I got this one and then I got this one um, and this has you know the condom on it but this is the uh, black with the uh, gray ostrich I, I like them so much I bought two and yes it's not sponsored guys I pay out of my money from my full-time job to buy this stuff so it, I, I, I'm telling you I, I'm really really impressed with the Therions now the scar the cons the fit and finish was I was kind of upset with I mean like the, the mini USB here I mean come on guys look at that I mean the, it's ridiculous and then the chip right there I don't know and, and the wood to me that would be all cons you would think that you know they're sitting there putting it together they have this piece of wood and this piece of wood next to each other sitting on the table you would think they would go huh well that ain't gonna match I better find another piece that's closer whatever I know it's wood but come on guys so that would be the cons on the scar so that is it there is the comparison side by side comparisons to these three devices um, I, I love all of them but if I had to pick one out of these three honestly guys it would be an absolute no-brainer for me right there the Lost Vape Theron 166 or 167 I, that would be my choice I would buy I would get rid of both of these and buy two more of these just because I like this so much it, it fits my everyday vaping needs I don't need to go to 250 watts I know some of you guys do that would be this one then if you're going you know 100 watts 150 watts there you are if you're going 50 watts 40 watts you up to 75 watts right there so with that being said guys each one of these fit a 25 millimeter tank beautifully this one will fit a little bit bigger one this one will step down this one will be smaller because of the ring and gapping up here so there you guys are um i'm gonna bring it back up top we're gonna discuss them hey vapors all right so how do they vape well, they are all DNA. So if you're familiar with DNAs and non-DNA mods, you know, your standard uh, regulated mods, you will notice a difference between a DNA chip and a non-DNA chip. It's a huge difference. Plus, you got eScribe. So you can plug these into your computer laptop. It has to be Windows laptop. It can't be um, a Mac, unfortunately. Or Apple but you can go in here you can go all the way down to your battery configurations and all this stuff you can make it so personal for each one of you guys that it you can hit it right to where you're looking for for the vape the ramp up the heat everything they are user-friendly eScribe is extremely simple to use um, and you got to have a DNA chip to use eScribe so I don't know if you guys knew that but you do I wanted to talk to you guys about with this uh, scar. Okay, the battery is on my uh, external battery charger overnight. Haven't vaped on it today. Just put the battery back in. It says 95%. Okay, I plugged this in the eScribe with the DNA 75 chip in there. It won't let you adjust, manually adjust what ma battery is in here like these will these will let you this one will do a uh, calculation but you got to have a coil a build on there and it has to do a complete battery cycle it's just a pain in the ass to be honest with you but i don't know what the hell's going on with it. i'm hoping it's just a, a shitty battery 
because um, my battery charger, my external battery charger says it's fully charged and it went through a few cycles. I discharged it, cycled it again, discharged it, cycled again overnight and it's still saying the same thing, 95%, whatever. So I'm hoping it's just a battery. I'll let you guys know on that. Now I did get down yesterday's video. Uh, I talked to you guys about the uh, UL Crown 2 new coils. Uh, they keep jumping up. This one here, I figured it out. The other coil was a defect. And over time what was happening, over the heat cycles, the wire was actually flexing because there's not enough cotton in that one to hold it. So it was sagging down, sagging down, sagging down the wire. And they're actually arcing. And that's what was causing my resistance to go everywhere. So I swapped out the coil and it's been absolutely flawless since. Um, I'm at 51 ohms. And I use this tank to rock on my uh, Lost Vape Scar. And uh, it, it was flawless. I'm gonna have a vape quick. So that being said, um, I, I'm really impressed with Lost Vape and their quality. Now the Scar. Let's, I'm going to give you some specs on the SCAR since I didn't on the other video. Minimum temperature resistance is 0.15 ohms. Minimum canthal resistance is 0.25. Output voltage is 0.6 to 6 volts. 85% output efficiency, which is pretty standard for DNA. It's usually 85, 89%. Um, stainless steel, 510 threads. Spring loaded, 510. <clears throat> Temperature range is 200 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it is 75 watt mod, so it's 1 to 75 watts. It is a dual compatible 18650 or a 26650 battery. I, I've talked to that. Yeah, uh, on a website here, you can get that scar for $80, and I've seen it all the way up to $130. So shop around, guys, because. You could save honestly fifty dollars from one website to another. That's to me that's that's pretty huge. I could buy an awful lot of juice for that. I, I see them in stock. They're silver carbon fiber, silver wood, black carbon fiber, black wood, gray carbon fiber, gray wood. And I think honestly, I think Element Vape screwed up and gave me a gray wood. And it kind of pisses me off in a way because looking at some pictures. It don't look like I got I got the gray and it's yeah that I don't know guys it's it kind of pisses me off and the the silver it looks like a stainless steel I pay for all these and I'm not gonna I, I think it they sent me the gray in wood well enough of me rambling on so I hope you guys like that road trip um my last video. I enjoyed it. I, it was something different instead of sitting here and, you know, going through all the stuff. I, I like doing this, but it's nice to break that up and just kind of like a day-to-day -day deal. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I did order the Limitless Plus tank, and I ordered some other odds and ends stuff. So now what I've been finding out with this new Wismic mods found some information on this Wismic Predator that's coming out. No, shh, don't tell anyone I told you this. The dimensions are 43.6 by 29 by 86.7 millimeters. Water drain is one watt to 228 watts. Temperature range 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. 100 to 315 degrees Celsius. Output voltage is 0.5 to 9.0 volts. TC is 0 0.05 to 1.58 ohms of resistance. Watts is 0.1 to 3.0 uh, watts in watt modes. Maximum current, 2 amps. Maximum output current, 50 amps. Requires two 18650 batteries. Flip open battery door, 2 amp max quick charge. That's a plus. Balanced charge technology, innovative buck boost technology. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Like I said, guys, this ain't released to the public yet. Steady power output, dual circuit protection, reverse polarity, uh, reverse charging, ergonomic design or size, hidden hidden fire button. It looks like what they're doing is uh, same as a smoke fire button. It's a lateral fire button. 
Large OLED, detailed vaping data. I, I don't know what that is. Yeah, this is, uh, it's called the uh, Wismic Predator 228. It's, uh, I'm going to bring the camera around and show you guys this picture. I'm not sponsored by anyone, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. What are they going to do? All right, take a look at this. What'd you guys think? I ain't lying. It's it's out there. So I'm going to uh, try to get this for you guys. We'll go from there. How about that? All right, guys. Um, thanks for uh, tuning in. Um, going over this. I am going to do a, uh, a sit-down chat or kind of a, a talk with our local vape shop owner. Keep vaping. Be safe. And... Thank you guys. Please subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate the support. Be safe.